It's one of the most dangerous guns in Newport, Kentucky history. The Tommy gun, at least the fully automatic version, could blast off 600 rounds a minute. Our own Tony Moronis is looking into why the city of Newport wants to get one now when it was decommissioned more than 30 years ago. You're looking down the barrel of a Tommy gun. It's what the gangsters used back in the 20s and 30s to get their work done, if you know what I'm saying. Well, the FBI had this one to keep up with the criminals. Well, now it belongs to the Greater Cincinnati Police Museum. And what I've heard on the streets today is that the Newport police, they want theirs back. It wasn't stolen or even misplaced. The city sold it about 30 years ago. They just didn't need it anymore. So why look for it now? They would want it back because it really is influential um, in Newport's history. The gun was invented and manufactured here in Newport. The price was about $240. That's about two months' salary for the average American back then. But it was likewise one of the few places that we have it where it was recorded by law enforcement. Jerome Gales recently produced a documentary about Newport gangsters. So during the 1920s, uh, one of the few times in our history that the civilian or really the gangsters, that they, their artillery area was a lot heavier than what the police you know, could handle. Newport's gun used to ride along on this motorcycle, now parked in the local police museum. The gun has been tracked down to a collector in Pennsylvania. It could cost a pretty penny. It takes a special license to even fire one. You don't find many gun ranges with them. Um, and some of the times the places that do, because they are so heavily regulated now, that um, you know, it's, it's sometimes kept behind locked door. Before the city puts it on display or even buys it, it'll need to come up with about 25 G's. Tony Moronis, 9 on your side, Newport.